another straight sets win and through to the final. Tell us about it. Um, just speechless, really. I uh, just couldn't, can't really believe the situation we're in. Um, just to keep beating such high quality opponents. I mean, coming into this, I had zero expectations and now I'm just absolutely over the moon. Yeah, it's been so much fun this, uh, these two weeks here. Um, obviously very thankful for the opportunity and playing with Ashley, such, it's her first slam. So I mean, <laughs> she's doing fantastic. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I'm just glad I got the opportunity to play with them. So. Astrid explained um, the other day about the nature of how you guys came together as partners, and it sounds like it was almost just like, you want to play mixed? Okay, oh, you're playing with JP, and that's how you found out. So I'm assuming it was similar for you. You kind of didn't know who you'd be playing with and then found out it was, it was Astro. Is that how? Like, well, cra um, I, I got asked who I wanted to play, and it actually did say Astro. So, um, oh, okay. But okay. obviously, had so many things oh. had to yeah happen. So, um, so you chose Astro. Well, I didn't really choose it, like, because they obviously, the Wildcats selection obviously did the choosing. Okay. But we just kind of got paired, which is great. Right. So must what? have a college connection, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Can, so, yeah, can you go over, back over that? Don't miss that. So how, how did that actually your genesis? What was the genesis of your back pairing? Well, for me, I had no clue because I didn't even think I was playing mixed. And then right before my second round singles match, uh, Nicole Pratt came up to me and just said, hey, you want to play mixed? I was like, yeah. sure. Yeah. And then the next day she's like, okay, cool, you're playing with JP. So that's how it was for me, where I was just like, it was very all sudden, and I, I didn't even know I was playing mix till like literally a few days before, okay. yeah. Luckily she said yes, to play <laughs> otherwise <laughs> I've been out here a week ago. <laughs> okay, and so what is it, do you think, if you haven't played together before and you're beating these quality teams, what is it about the two of you that's gelling so well or, or things that you found are working on? Uh, well, I think for me, just JP is such an experienced player, doubles player, singles player, and he sees the court, reads the court so well, and I'm kind of just taken under his wing in a way, where I just kind of listen to what he says, and I'm just learning as we go what, what we're doing, and I think identity as a team got gelled pretty quick, and then um, we've just kind of consolidated on that each match, yeah. Yeah, I think Ash is fearless out there. You know, she goes for her shots, goes for her serve, not afraid to take over the net. And it's just, yeah, it's pretty easy out there when someone plays with so much confidence on the court. Astro, are you surprised at how well you've handled things in your first slam? Uh, yeah, uh, to say the least. <laughs> how much confidence did you get out of the wildcard playoffs at the end of the year? Um, yeah, a lot. I mean, I've, all those players are such top quality opponents, like at any day, just who's better on the day so to be able to compete consistently and get those matches under my belt just felt good coming in and um i mean yeah you got to take confidence when you're matching players who are you know taking taking such far steps and slams so yeah jp what do you know about your next opponent um honestly not much we only found out who we're playing today obviously this afternoon so um we don't know a lot about them right now and that's kind of been the way the whole week we just kind of just took care of our own stuff and just kind of got on court and just played our game. So, um, well, at least we now have a day for, to prepare now, so for our next one. Okay, would you say this is a career highlight for you, been on the tour a little while? Absolutely, yeah, this is amazing. Um, I mean, not every day you get to play in final of a slam, even, you know, even for, especially in front of your hometown and, you know, getting the win on my birthday today was awesome because I've always lost my birthday. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, this is a new for me. Have you allowed yourself a moment to celebrate your birthday in a particular way or will you have that for you now? Oh, no, 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 definitely not now. <laughs> no, I can't now. I can't break routine now. Yeah. After the, after the tournament, yeah. Well, and what did you do today? Uh, not much, honestly. We came in, we, hit, we had, knocked some balls around this morning, had a good lunch, went back, had a little sleep, um, knocked around again, and then waited around, and then got to play on RLA. So, you know, a pretty good day in the books, I thought. Yeah. You you said on court that you never played on Rod Laver before. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, yeah. You know what, I actually have, I played with Casey Delacqua, I just remembered. Yeah, I wasn't sure, I think yeah. Astro hadn't played on um, Rob yeah. Lava, so you have. Played. I actually have, yeah. Okay. That was my bad. So, what was it like for you, playing on the biggest court? Um, yeah, I wasn't going to lie, I mean, going out onto the court and, you know, you see all those, like, lighted panels, it's a bit intimidating and I was... I was, yeah, I was shaking in my boots, for <laughs> sure, but, I mean, it's so good that I get to play with JP because, you know, he just exudes kind of just like, oh, this is normal, and so I just went along with it. I was like, yeah, this is normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah.